You're watching Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. Appreciate you guys for stopping by as we break down four players that the New York Knicks have conducted pre-draft workouts with. Those are the only four that we know for a fact. There's been other workouts that have taken place with the Knicks leading up to the NBA draft, but we only know of four players so far, and we're going to break them down on today's show. The Knicks do own the 24th, 25th, and 38th pick in the 2024 NFL, NFL, NBA draft. So it's actually a two-day event, first time that'll happen. And we're going to be live on the channel for both of those days. We'll be live June 26th. We'll be live June 27th. And I want to see all your beautiful faces there. So make sure you're subscribed and have you have your notifications turned on. With the Knicks having picked 24, 25, and 38, they're doing a lot of research and a lot of scouting on players that may go in the later part of round one, round two, and even some UDFA targets. But let's talk about a guy that a lot of Knicks fans are falling in love with, and that's CAA product and defensive specials Ryan Dunn out of Virginia. This is someone that has the potential to be the best defender in this class. And when you talk about what the Knicks could need and it could benefit from adding in the NBA draft, it's someone that could come off the bench and still give you some defensive versatility. And Ryan Dunn, he does that at 21 years old. He has over a seven foot one, um, seven feet one inch wingspan. There we go. Six foot six, 214 pounds. Extremely, extremely talented on the defensive side of the floor. But his offensive game, it is lagging behind. And it's going to take a while for him, for in my opinion, to be a reliable, really offensive player in this league. But that's not why you're going to draft Ryan Dunn. The reason you will is because the guy averaged 2.3 blocks per game and 1.3 steals per game. The dude is elite on that side of the floor. And against the Indiana Pacers, I thought it was pretty evident that the New York Knicks did not have a player that could come off the bench and be a stopper for them. They had to result to Josh Hart guarding Pascal Siakam and Hart at 6'4", guarding 6'9", 6'10", Siakam. Just isn't going to work out. Dunn shot just 20% from three last year. He doesn't even shoot that many threes. Got a long way to go to become even a league average shooter, from distance, but if he can, if he can develop into a guy that's league average or slightly below league average, he's going to be in the NBA for a long time. And he is a perfect player for Tom Thibodeau. You look at the Ringer scouting profile for Ryan Dunn. They say he has shades of Herb Jones and Andre Roberson, if you remember who he is. I think he's got a lot of Roberson in his game. Uh, the Ringer says he's the best defender in this class, a player who can lock down multiple positions and get stops anywhere on the floor. They think he's a really good guy. When it comes to on-ball defense, interior scoring, they say he's got that dog in him, and he's also someone that's going to hustle. Uh, there's some quick stuff. Special defender who disrupts plays in every way. He has elite rim protection from the wing position with immaculate timing. Plus, he rebounds well for someone his size at six foot six. Um, the Knicks need another wing defender. They do. It can't just be OG and Anobi. And Anobi cannot be the only person on the wing that's going to be tasked with slowing down opposing teams' top scores. And you could use a guy like Dunn. 24, 25 might be a little bit early, but I'm sure some team is going to fall in love with his defensive ability and go and do that. So maybe you have to take him there. I like him more at the 38th pick, but for me, I think, um, I think that the 38th pick makes a little bit more sense for me. But I would, I would be cool with taking him at 24. Or 25. If we don't have that in there, we could just go to this. I'll ask you guys this question. What should the Knicks do in the NBA draft? There's been a lot of rumors about them trading their picks, moving up in the draft, sticking and picking, or going all in for a superstar. So I want to ask you, take the seat of Leon Rose. What should the Knicks do? Type T for trade their picks, M for make their picks, or U for you think they should trade up. A New York legend. It was someone that has worked out for the New York Knicks as well. High school legend at one point was the leading scorer in New York high school basketball history. Um, I think that was taken away from, or he, someone else scored more than him, but I know for a fact he was at one point. That's Joe Girard, the guard out of Clemson, also spent a lot of time, really the majority of his career, with Syracuse. 23 years old, six foot two, 190 pounds. He averaged 15 points per game last year, shot 43% from the field, as well as above 40% from downtown. And Joe Girard is one of the best shooters in college basketball. You saw uh, that in the NCAA tournament. Had some big-time shots as his team made a big-time run in the tournament. And he's had a lot of experience as well. He's been in college for quite some time. 
161 games under his belt. He shot 37.5% for his career from three. So I think that is a skill that will translate for him. But when it comes to the rest of his game, defense, playmaking, ball handling, the responsibilities that a point guard has, I'm just not so sure that Joe Girard is an NBA player at this point in his career, and I really don't think he's going to get drafted. So this could be a guy that the Knicks try to extend a summer league invite to, trying to get an inside look at him, see how he stacks up against other prospects in this draft. I really think the only NBA skill that he has is his ability to shoot it from distance. Outside of that, I'm really not sure there's a spot for him in this league. Maybe he goes to the G League and works his way up. Players can always get better. I do think he plays their game the right way. I'm just not so sure what the ceiling is for Joe Girard. Maybe he'll be a guy that's a UDFA and try to make some money in the summer league. we got more players to talk about, but first, got to give a huge shout-out to today's sponsor, Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS, and Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to 100 Dollars. Prize Picks is the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America, and I was playing it for game one of the NBA Finals, and I came out rich. You could do the same. You can roll with my picks that I got for game two. I'm going to take the more on Chris Stops Porzingis points. I think he's found his groove. I'm also going to go with less than two and a half three pointers made for Kyrie Irving, and then I'm going to go with more than five assists for Drew Holiday. I think the Celtics. I'm going to take game two as well. They just looked like the much better team. And I think these are all going to come true. So you can roll with my picks or fade my picks. Just do it at Price Picks. It's pricepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS. The NBA Finals are here. So now is the time for the Knicks. Uh, not for the Knicks. It's time for you to play Price Picks. So go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use that promo code CLNS. The next player that we're going to talk about on today's show is Malafi Leones, the forward at a Bradley. And this was a very interesting player for me to do some research on. This is a guy that I thought was one of the better defenders in college basketball last year. And he's got a little bit of skill to his game as well. And I think in the NBA, he could kind of be that, I would say, stretch big. I'm not sure he's big enough, though, to be a center in this league at just six foot 10, 210 pounds. More probably of a power forward. He is 24, so he's an older prospect. He's got that big wingspan as well. But I like the growth that we've seen in his game. He could block shots. He could switch on the perimeter. He's agile for his size. And he's someone that has shown the ability to continue to knock it down from three and get better each and every season. You look at what he did last year in 34 minutes per game. He averaged 13.8 points per game. North of seven rebounds. He gives you a steal and a half per game and a block and a half per game. Shoots better than 48% from the field and 34% from three. For his career, he averages three and a half three-pointers attempted, so it's not a small sample size. He's shown the ability to be able to knock it down, has to get more consistent with that jumper, but this is a really intriguing prospect. I'm just not so sure that he is going to get drafted in the NBA just because really the age and being that ultimate tweener. Um, maybe he's a second round guy. Maybe he's a priority UDFA that you try to get in for your summer league. Uh, I like the upside. He's got length. He's got some touch. Defensive versatility. If the Knicks want to buy a pick later in the second round, I'm cool with that. But 38's a little bit too soon for me for, um, for Mr. Leon. The last player we're going to talk about on today's show that's had a workout with the Knicks is Andrea Helovic. I have pronounced that name 20 times before today's show. I hope I am correct. If not, I apologize to Mr. AJ. He played in the for Mega Basket. It was actually the same team that Nikola Jokic played for in 2014 when he was named the MVP. And this is a player that you're probably going to draft and stash for a couple of years if you do select him. He's 20 years old, 6 foot 11, 224 pounds. And he averaged 10.3 points per game, 7.6 rebounds, 1.7 assists, and 47% from the field. Um, I also don't think that he's really got a great shot of being drafted in this league, to be quite honest with you. If he does, it's a late second-round pick. I'm just not sure what makes him an NBA prospect. He's got the size. I get that. He's got the length as well. Um, but he doesn't really provide any sort of offensive skill. Yet, in my opinion, I think he's still got to work on that part of his game. was in the Liga ABA last year. That's where these stats come from. 
doesn't shoot the ball all that well. He's had some success, but in 30 games in this league, he struggled. Shot just 30% from three. So uh, I'm not so sure he's on the board for me at pick 24, 25, or 38. And as we've gone through this video, it just feels like the Knicks are starting to do a lot of work on UDFA targets. And I'm sure teams across the NBA are doing that as well. They want to be prepared when that opportunity presents itself. Um, Ryan Dunn is the only player in this draft uh, of the four players we've talked about that I would select in the first round of this draft. Maybe um, Leon's is someone you'd look for in day two. But for me, the Knicks, um, they're very tight with their information. Leanne Rosen speak to the media. They don't really let these workouts get out. But Ryan Dunn, I think he'd be a good pick for the Knicks. Like him more at 38, but I would be okay if he was the pick at 24 or 25. I'll ask you guys this one more time. What should the Knicks do in the NBA draft? Should they trade their picks? Go all in for a star. Should they make their picks? Or should they trade up to get inside the lottery maybe and select a guy like Dalton Connect or something like that? Let me know what you think and make sure to hit me up on social media. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram at Marshall Green underscore. Hit me up over there and let's go Knicks!